Yo, it's Divinity Rocks here live at the ASCAP Expo 2016 in LA. What's up? What's the color of love? Greens and yellows, hue. This is my first ASCAP Expo. Finally, I made it. I flew in from LA. I mean, flew in from New York like two days ago, and it's been crazy. I've just been running and running. So I'm excited to be here, though, finally. My plans are to attend some of the um, some of the workshops. Um, there's so much information here, so I've missed a couple of the workshops. Luckily, when you're when you're here, you get a chance to go back and watch some of the uh, workshops you missed on video. So I will be doing that because there's just so much information, so many amazing and knowledgeable people about songwriting and performing and getting paid which is what we all want to do as artists and musicians is get paid fairly. So I just, I just want to, you know, absorb some of that information, some of the things that I'm not sure about, learn more about. So, yeah. Are we all so afraid of what we don't understand that we're willing to shoot without calls? What if you... You know, this is the first time for me, so I don't know what to, what to expect, honestly. I would say just, you know, do your research, find out... Um, what's happening, what you're missing in your game, and, uh, and go to people who know what you don't know and try to learn from them. I mean, you know, there are professionals here, people who are actually making a living and making money playing music, writing music, publishing music, and this is the place to be. You know, meet some of these people, uh, let them know that you're serious about your craft, and uh, do some networking. Would you step into your greatness? Would you? Can you feel the force? So I played the She Rocks Awards at NAMM. Um, the Women International Network is an incredible network of women who play all types of roles in this music industry. Um, I love what Laura's doing over there. She's really highlighting how integral women are in this industry and the many different roles they play, from manufacturing to publishing to um, writing to performing. So, you know, she's really highlighting all of the aspects of the music industry and the roles that women play. So I really appreciate her. I'm going to have fun tonight. We're going to play some songs off of my new album, I'm Possible. I just released an album. You can check it out on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. I'm on SoundCloud, DivinityRocks.com. We have a new single called We Are. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Super positive music, good music, and uh, you should check it out for sure. You know, She Rocks, how did I get started? I think the very first... Um, time we worked together was during a three-day conference over at um, at the Musicians Institute. That's where Laura and I met. And I just came in to jam with the students. You know, they, they do a jam session every night. Um, they had many songwriters come in, producers, female producers and songwriters, to help, you know, guide young musicians on their path. So I came in and we jammed every night. Jennifer Batten was there. It's incredible. Um, so that's how we met and we just stayed in touch and we just kept working together and I played the She Rocks Awards this year with my band. It was amazing. We honored Shaka Khan amongst so many other incredible women in the industry at the NAMM show. So yeah, so we're just going to keep keep going. Let's fly through the limit. Feet is on the ceiling. So of course Oh man, how did I get started in music? Um, I think music was just something that I was supposed to do. Um, from a very young age, I started playing music, singing and choruses, you know, it started in school. And that's why it's so important to me to have music in the schools because for a lot of young kids, that's where you are first exposed to the idea that you can even play music is in school. So, you know, the fact that music is being taken out of schools is really a tragedy um, because that's where I started. And if you were to ask most artists who are in the game today, they would say that's where they got started. Um, and through a series of crazy events, I started playing bass guitar and toured with the incredible Victor Wooten and toured with the amazing Beyonce. And now I'm doing my own thing and playing bass, rapping and singing and performing all over the world. So started in school though. One be one heart. One life, one love, one you. The best advice that I can give to anybody starting is, um, wow, it's, there's so many different things. I would say the most important thing you can do is hone your craft. 
is to become the best that you can be at what you're doing. Become a better songwriter, a better musician, a better whatever. Just work on being better and continue to do that throughout your entire career. No matter how much success you obtain, continue to work on your craft. And the other thing that I would always say is look at yourself as a business, not as an individual. And, um, and I think if you do those two things, you know, the other stuff will sort of, you know, fall into place. What if you were that one, the one that could change the course? Would you step into your group? Oh man, this year I'm so excited because I put out this album called Impossible and it is by far the best body of work that I have created, I have to say, at this point in my life. It's personal, it's musical, it's, um, it's an incredible journey. So I'm excited to share with the world. Like I said, it's available on iTunes. You can listen to it on Spotify, SoundCloud, Pandora. Um, I, you know, the biggest thing for me is getting this music out for other people to hear. Well, I'm an independent artist. I don't have a record label behind me. It's just me and my small team, my small army of, uh, of people who are fighting to have good music heard. You know, we're not on the radio. So it's really a movement, a grassroots movement. And I think that once you listen to the album, you'll feel it in your heart and you'll want to share it with other people. So that's the biggest thing for me. We're going to be touring the U.S. We'll be touring in Europe. Um, we'll be dropping more videos. We'll be traveling around and doing some workshops in schools. And uh, come out, DivinityRocks.com. Sign up to the newsletter and find out all the cool things we'll be doing this year.